some years ago, I purchased a cartoon from a private eye cartoonist, um, the late Tony Husband, and it had two thugs walking together in the street, and one said, what's DNA? And his pal said, I don't know, but if you've got it, you're guilty. <laughs> and it sums up the problem, I think, because I, think, I, really, I really do think this is an issue. And I have led evidence in cases where there's no DNA or other biological connection with the accused where other evidence would suggest that the accused has been somewhere. And I have consulted with the scientists to say, well, how could that be? And the explanation is that the idea that you go around slushing DNA all over the ceil ceilings and walls is just not accurate. You can be somewhere and not leave a trace. There is, a, of course, a principle, Lockhart's principle of every contact leaves a trace, but it's not always identifiable. And there are certainly murder scenes uh, in which the, that type of link is not there. But I increasingly do feel I need to explain why that is so and why it's not inconsistent with the Crown Theory.